What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm gonna show you guys how to make an NPC wander around the vicinity of a specific object. And in this case, we're talking about the house object as you can see me walking around and the NPC. Here's the object. This is going to be a really significant character in this game. So he was the first NPC I put in, and I just wrote these wandering algorithms for him that I'm actually probably going to use on a lot of different NPCs, and I'm going to show you how the step event works. This is the object that he's following in the code for object player house. Just to keep the confusion away, as you can see, he does not leave the vicinity of the house. Here is the step event. Wander logic. It's actually really not that complicated. Essentially, he it uses um, it uses floor random that will randomly tell him to either walk left or right with the same chance of either or happening. So, with a three hundred with a three hundred chance, it is going to tell him to walk right or left. If it sets to right. It deactivates the left, and if it sets to the left, it deactivates the right. Then once he's moving, it checks for whether he's moving or not, and if he's more than 100 pixels away from the object player house or the wander target, and if he is, it will turn off all of the things and face him the other way. So he doesn't leave the vicinity of the object. So essentially, he just wanders around a point or an object, at a maximum distance. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This really only took me about a half hour to write, but this is pretty much the bulk of it, and that's probably what I'm gonna use. So I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.